Why did the US F-119 engine's 4,000-hour service life figure spark a 20-year-long controversy in the global military-industrial community when China's WS-15 is rumored to have a life expectancy of 6,000 hours? Does this figure imply a breakthrough in material science or a false performance standard? As the heart of modern warplanes, the life expectancy of an aero engine is not only a litmus test of technical strength but also directly related to the allocation of national defense budgets and the effectiveness of strategic deterrence. In the U.S., Russia and China around the life of the aircraft engine to start the invisible race. Behind each data are hidden technology path selection and military strategy game of the double code. The service life of military aircraft engines is always a delicate balance between design specifications and actual performance. Taking the F-119 PW-100 engine developed by Pratt & Whitney as an example, the 8000 our total service life target set at the beginning of the project was once regarded as a revolutionary breakthrough in the power system of the fourth generation aircraft. But the actual service data show that this equipment in the F-22 Raptor Cutting edge power plant in 4,000 hours or so will face the critical point must be replaced. This significant difference between design life and actual life is rooted in the fact that microscopic cracks in turbine blades under extreme operating conditions expand much faster than in laboratory simulations. Internal test reports disclosed by Pratt and Whitney in 2018 showed that when an engine is operated continuously under gassing for more than 300 hours, the creep rate of the third generation, single crystal, nickel-based high-temperature alloy rises exponentially, resulting in a 40% plunge in the effective life of the high-pressure turbine blades. This non-linear decay characteristics so that the U.S. military had to F-119 mandatory replacement cycle compressed to half of the design value. More grimly, the F-22 fleet's 2016-2020 maintenance records show that about 23% of early engine retirements stemmed from low-weak fatigue problems and titanium compression discs during frequent supersonic cruising. The dislocation density accumulated at the metal grain boundaries reaches 4.7 times that of an average third-generation aircraft, resulting in cracks budding 4.6 times faster than in a typical third-generation aircraft 178%. The Russian L-31F engine's lifespan was revealed the shortcomings of the basic industrial system. The engine's 300R first overhaul interval is not only significantly lower than that of its Western counterparts, but its whole life maintenance costs account for 280% of a single engine's purchase cost. 2015 data from the Syrian Theater of Operations showed that Su-35S fighters deployed at Mamum Air Base needed to replace low-pressure turbine components every 150 hours of flight on average, which is a direct result of the lagging of Russia's heat barrier coating technology is lagging behind. The APS-2 coating it employs has a flaking rate under continuous thermal cycling, that is 3.2 times higher than that of its Western counterparts. Comparative tests conducted by Russia's Central Research Institute of Aero Engines showed that after the engine underwent 50 thermal cycles, the remaining thickness of the APS-2 coating was only 18% of its initial value, while the US GT-36 coating still maintained 64% of its effective protective layer. This technological generation gap directly resulted in the average operating temperature of the L31F's high-pressure turbine blades being 8-7K higher than the design value, increasing the rate of material oxidative loss by a factor of 4. Although the L41F1S engine increased its theoretical life to 4,000 hours by introducing a fourth-generation monocrystalline alloy, internal documents of the Russian air and Space Forces in 2019 showed that the average trouble-free time of 117S engines actually in service was still less than 600 hours, exposing systemic flaws in the process quality control system. The turbine discs manufactured by electron beam rapid prototyping have an excess porosity of 3.2%, leading to a 45% drop in fatigue strength. The breakthrough path of China's aircraft development industry shows a unique, iterative leap, characteristic. 900 hours of total life of the early model of WS-10 was not satisfactory, but it accumulated valuable data for the construction of the material system. And the mass production of WS-10B in 2014 marked the first time for a domestically produced engine to break through the 2,000 hours of life threshold which is attributed to the combination of a new type of DD6 monocrystalline alloy and a gradient heat barrier coating. Breakthrough research by the Institute of Metals of the Chinese Academy of Sciences shows that the DD6 alloy has increased its endurance strength to 1.8 times that of the second-generation single crystal alloy through the introduction of 1.5% rhenium and 0.08% ruthenium elements. Notably, 
The WS10C engine disclosed at the Zhuhai Air Show 2021 has achieved a 4000R design life, and its laser impact strengthening technology has reduced the turbine disc micromotion wear rate by 72%. The turbofan 15 engine under test has pushed its life expectancy to 6000 hours, behind which is the double breakthrough of ceramic matrix composite combustion chamber and intelligent life prediction system. The former reduces the temperature gradient of flame cylinder wall by 400K, and the latter improves the accuracy of remaining life prediction by real-time monitoring of 12 types of key parameters, which is up to 93% to 93%. The test data made public by China Aerospace Development Group 2023 shows that the strength retention rate of the turbine guiding blade using six ceramic matrix composites still reaches 87% after 2,000 hours of examination, in a gas environment of 1,350 degrees C, far exceeding that of the nickel-based alloy of 42%. The essence of the aircraft life competition is the material genome engineering wrestling. The United States Accelerated Service Materials Development plan through high-throughput computing to shorten the new materials development cycle by 60%. The development of its CMSX-10 alloy has achieved a single crystal, casting pass rate of 98% of the industrial breakthrough rushes, Breakthrough, National Project invested 120 billion rubles to attack the directional solidification casting technology, but its fourth-generation single crystal alloy VSGM6 yield is still hovering around 35%. China is relying on the two machine special projects to build a complete innovation chain from the atomic scale simulation to engineering verification. The Aviation Materials Big Data Center established in Nanjing has included more than 12 million sets of high-temperature alloy performance data to support the intelligent design of new materials. When the three-dimensional crack extension model is deeply combined with machine learning algorithms, engine life prediction is moving from empirical formulas to digital twins. The engine life system developed by Pratt & Whitney can predict bearing failure 300 hours in advance, with an accuracy rate of 89%. China National Aerotechnology Corporation Kunlun Cloud Brain, Platform Realis's real-time life mapping of more than 2,000 measurement points on the whole engine, reducing the sudden failure rate by 67%. This technological leap is not only reshaping the maintenance system of aircraft development, but also reconfiguring the cost equation of modern air warfare, every 1,000 hours of life enhancement. The whole life cycle maintenance cost of the three-generation aircraft squadron, can be reduced by 240 million US dollars. The US Air Force Research Laboratory calculations show that the F-35 fleet, if the engine life from 4,000 hours to 6,000 hours, 2,040 years ago, can save $32 billion in maintenance costs. For the Chinese Air Force, the turbofan 15 6,000 hours of design life combined with an intelligent health management system, could raise the operational readiness rate of the J-20 fleet to more than 90%, which would have far-reaching implications for the strategic balance in the Western Pacific. Russia is temporarily behind in the life race, but its new PD-14 engine Crete molybdenum rhenium alloy technology, perhaps for the next generation of products to retain the possibility of turning the tide. In this metal fatigue war without smoke, Every hour of life breakthrough is the national industrial system of comprehensive strength of the precise scale. From the single crystal casting furnace vacuum control to the thermal barrier coating nanostructural design, from the crack expansion of molecular dynamics simulation to the construction of digital twin model of the whole machine, the evolution of the life of the aircraft is actually a big country industry from the macro manufacturing to the microscopic control of the metamorphosis of the history. When China's turbofan 15 began to challenge the limit of 6,000 hours of life, Behind it is not only a laboratory technology breakthrough, but also a complete industrial ecology of the full rise, from the supercomputing center running a billion atomic simulation, to the production line of nanometer precision of the E-beam welding, every technical detail is reshaping the future. The air war is a power struggle, and the United States, Russia and China in the three countries on the life of the aircraft engine indicators of each refresh, are redefining the cost of modern warfare threshold and strategic deterrence of the duration of the constants.